Hello and welcome students and uh, in this video I'm going to show you that how uh, you can attack on a website without using any tool. Right? You can use, uh, you can use uh, the tools available in Kali Linux to attack on a website. For example, you can use SQL Map, SQL Source, SQL Ninja. There are so many tools are available in Kali Linux. But can you attack on a website without using any tool? So that's what I'm showing here in this video that how you can attack on a website using manual SQL injection method. So this method is uh, is really simple, right? And uh, there is no use of any tool for manual injection. So let me show you how you can do that. So to do that, you can see that we have we already have our sample website which is testphp.volnaweb.com and uh, obviously we will try to attack on this website so first of all what you need to do here we need a simple link of this website right and uh, to get a link of this website what we can do here uh, we can simply click on artists here you can see to get a link i'm showing you that how you can get a link so click on artists and click on the first link so you get a link automatically testphp.volnavebs.com slash artist.php question mark artist equal to one right so this is the link available here and i'm going to use that link to attack on this website to get the username and password available in the backend or database so let's try first of all let me copy this let me open a new tab open google.com and here on google what we can do we can simply type site colon paste here or basically you don't need to do that because we already have the link so do one thing uh, paste that link here right and uh, now we will check that this website is vulnerable to SQL injection or not so how we can check it it's quite simple you can just type an apostrophe after one you can yeah right and uh, hit enter if it gives us an error message it means the website is vulnerable to sql injection attack so you can see on the screen that we are getting an error message this is the warning message we are getting right this is the warning message from the backend that mysql fetch array expects parameter one to be resource boolean given in this php line on 62 so if this kind of error is coming from the backend by using this apostrophe after that or single code so it means the website is vulnerable to sql injection and we are i'm pretty sure that we can attack on this website uh, using manual sql injection technique all right now the next task is to find out the number of columns inside the database because we we have no clue that uh, how many numbers are there inside the database right because if we, if you are using any kind of tool like sql map right for example if you are using sql map so they are uh, basically doing it internally we don't need to do it inside sql map but if you are performing manual sql injection you need to do everything here now we need to find the number of columns and we don't have any method to find out there is only one method and the method is called trial and hit method or you can say hit and trial method right so how we can find it do one thing just remove the apostrophe and type order by right there is a method available which is order by by using that you can try to find the number of columns uh, in the database so what you can do here you can simply type here order space by space for example if i try with five let me guess there are five columns so let me try with order by five dash dash and hit enter so you can see here that there is no changes in the page here so let me try with four still on four there is no change on the page i'm just looking for a change on the page let me try three and you can see here that when i have typed three when i tried three then it has changed the look of the page right you can see here and on the four it will give us an error here you can see it means there are three columns available there this is a kind of hit and trial method that i'm showing you so by using order by method you can find out the number of original columns inside the uh, website so order by three dash dash will provide you 
the page ordered by four dash dash will provide you an error message it means there are three columns are available great let me remove everything now the task is to find the table names from the we don't need to find database here right because we can directly find a table name here and then column names and then the data so how we can find the table name without using any tool uh, do one thing let me show you the command what command you can use so you can simply type here union select one comma two comma group underscore concat then table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables i will explain you just type it information underscore schema dot tables where table schema equals to database bracket close bracket and dash dash so let me explain you what is this yeah so we were here at artist equal to one now i'm type i have typed union space select space one comma two comma and the command so actually there are three columns available here right so that's why i'm typing one comma two comma three but the third one has been replaced by the command because we need to use a single column so that we can get enter in the website so that's why i'm i'm for example i'm using third column so i'm if i'm using third column so i have replaced three with this command so the command is to uh, gather information about the table names so you can see here group underscore concat table name from information schema dot tables where table underscore schema equal to database dash dash this is the command uh, to get the table name from the databases if i hit enter you can see here that we didn't get any table names here nothing so what is the problem here the problem is quite simple that there are three possibilities here let me show you what are the three possibilities for example let me show you in the leaf pad what are the three possibilities so the three pos possibilities are like uh, for example the link is this right this is the link the three possibilities are here is you can try like this or you can try like dash one you can try with one dash and you can try both of them at one play so there are these three possibilities are available here either you use dash one or you use one dash or you use dash one dash because uh, one of them can work for you here so let me try this let me minimize this and you can see here that this is the link available here and i need to use uh, for example if i use with one dash sorry one dash and hit enter so you can see here there is no change and I'm, I'm not getting any table names here let me try with both of them dash and dash one dash hit enter still there is no changes the last option is to remove the apostrophe and just use a dash one hit enter and here we go you can see here that we we are getting the number of tables here which you can see on the screen right so you can see here that we got the table names here and the table names are artist cards category featured guest book pictures users and products that we, uh, basically you can also try with sql map you will get the same number of columns tables basically so these are the tables available so we got the table names here now you can use any table for example uh, if you want to use users table name then you can try with users so if you want to find the column names from this table name let's find out so how you can find out the column name simply you need to changes uh, tables with columns so if it is table underscore name so you can type here column underscore name so you can type here column underscore name from information underscore schema dot columns replace tables with columns c o l u m n s where now here you need to change something so remove this and now you can type table underscore name equals to type double code inside double code you need to type the table name so the table name is users and after that you can type dash dash 
right so one comma two group con get column name from information underscore schema dot columns where table underscore name equal to inside double code users after after double code type dash dash and hit enter so you can see here that you got the column names as well new name pass cc address email and we, di we didn't use any tool here right we are completely performing a manual technique we are not using a single tool in, in this method so these are all the columns available in the website you name pass address email name phone etc so for example uh, if you want to find a u name here first of all we will find the username so how you can find a username uh, you need to type just replace column underscore name with the actual name of the column so actual name of the column is u name right and after that do one thing after from just remove everything so one comma two comma group underscore concat u name from the table name so what is the table name the table name was users dash dash so this is this is the command to get the username hit enter and you can see here that we got the username here the name of the username is test great let me go back L let's find out information about pass so to get the pass just same method replace column underscore name with pass right from the table name so what is the table name the table name is users dash dash right hit enter and you can see here we got the password as well so the username is test password is also test you can try with some other information for example if you want to try with address let me try with address so just remove column underscore name with a double d r e double s and uh, just remove everything after from the name of the table users dash dash hit enter so you can see here these are the this is the address available here so uh, we have we we got the username we got the password now it's time to log in in the website click on sign up right and here you can simply type the username which you have got test password was also test and now you can click login and you can see here that you are inside the database of the website right you can change the address if you want for example, if I change it to New Delhi, click on update. And uh, if I just log out from this website and log in again, type the username test and password is also test. Click login. and uh, if you come down you can see that the address has been changed to new delhi so uh, that's how you can get information about the addresses phone numbers email ids credit card numbers it's quite easy right that uh, we have used a simple commands here right and we got the information about so these are the commands these are called sql injection command so we know how you can use tool to attack on a website using SQL injection. We know how you can use a manual technique without using any tool to gather information about the website, right? So this is a method. This is the most popular method in the world to gather information about the database, to capture information about the username, passwords, to dump the complete database, to wipe out the complete database, to update the complete database using SQL injection, right? So uh, this is all about this manual technique that you can use for any website, right? Try it on this website again, right? So thank you so much. And uh, this is all about the manual SQL injection technique. We will come back in the next video.